Hey, thanks for joining us again today on the Renovation Minute. I'm John Adams. And I'm Two Mullins. Hey, we wanted to bring you three different ways today that we can help pull together transactions that otherwise may fall apart or may not quite be there uh, with three special tools from Freddie Mac. Yeah, we talk a lot about Fannie. Today we're going to talk about Freddie. One of the ways is with self-employed borrowers. We see a lot of those. We get a lot of referrals with folks that work for themselves, which is great. It, what it means for mortgage qualifying oftentimes is more documentation. Freddie Mac gives us the opportunity to get those folks approved with only one year's income tax return. That's right. And they also streamline the process for um, some special ways that we can add back some of their deductions. Uh, the Form 2106, uh, that's the schedule that most people write off itemized deductions, where we can add those things back to the income and otherwise create a deal where it may um, create pitfalls previously. The third way is another income piece. It's with non-owner occupying co-borrowers. Freddie Mac allows that, meaning that uh, you know if you're not going to live in the home, you can actually be on the mortgage. We can qualify that customer for up to a 75% loan to value. That's great. Uh, thanks for joining us again today. Uh, if you would like, please um, go ahead and down below uh, subscribe, and then also uh, come to our Distressed Property Solutions class at Northeast Florida Association of Realtors on March 20th. It's going to be great. We got some new information for you on how to buy and finance Distressed Property Solutions.